Okay, class diagram. There are two types of class diagrams. One is called implementation level, and the other is called concept level, which I'm going to talk about today. For example, there is a customer and an order, and a customer will have a name as a property and also an email address as a property. And order also would have a time and date as a timestamp, and also an amount of money in the order. Let's see how will it go in the demo. Open a class diagram and add a class. To add a class, you can click this class icon or just double click in Asta to add a class. Enter class name customer and press this diamond button to add attribute or a property. Name and again email. Then order class. This time add an attribute by control R a shortcut key to add an attribute. Amount and date. Then create an association from this menu or on the spot by selecting from suggest features. Association then add a name of the association as place so that you can read customer places and order. And then multiplicity here many and one from order to customer there's one customer defined. There's an undo button here so that you can go every command you made backwards or redo to go forward. Undo can be done by Ctrl Z and redo is Ctrl R also. Right click opens the context menu so that you can change visibility and also you can change from setting for the default setting. You can change colors or any visibilities that can be applied to classes you, you will going to make. I'm going to show you an interesting usage here. If you have a class candidates in a spreadsheet, you can just copy and paste onto ASTA as classes so that you can start modeling from known classes you can use. This can be an efficient starting point of your modeling. In this lecture, I modeled only customers and orders, but in real world, we need products which are included in an order. So in the coming patterns volume, I will discuss the modeling between three. Till then, see you.